God damn it, this is so, so annoying. Welcome back to Baba's You. I already recorded an episode here. I, I, I hate this about OBS. I like, I hit the start recording button, which puts stop recording in focus, and then I started up Baba's You, and the game wasn't in focus, it was still in OBS, and I pressed spacebar, and I guess it stopped the recording. And I didn't know, and I just did a whole episode, and it's really obnoxious when that happens and just waste your time, so... Lovely. Anyway, we are back in Baba's You, and... In the previous episode that you didn't didn't see, the previous recording, I, uh... I figured out some stuff in editing, including one full level, but hey, now, like... All of those experiments were in vain. I had a bunch of things we tested out, and... All of them are pointless, because, yeah, you didn't see it, so that's that's really fun. But anyway, we'll at least go through them again, I suppose, and, like, the concepts, because maybe they are useful even though they didn't actually accomplish anything. But this one, Prison, I did figure out in editing, because I, I was looking at, when editing this one, uh, Haunt, we had this whole situation where I was saying like, oh, there's no way we can get is down here to this corner. How does that that happen? And we figured out the whole thing where, okay, you can't push uh, like a ghost. We can't push a ghost into text like this. But if we have a ghost already here, then without push, like if it is push, then it just gets pushed. But if we remove push, then we can push the text through it and then teleport it and so on. So when I saw that and then went back to prison, it kind of clicked. It's that kind of mechanic. I just had a thought like, hmm, I wonder what happens if we do this. And then it just turned out to be the solution. Like it made made a lot of sense. So there's really like not much you can do in this level. There's barely anything. So kind of this, this one thing that I uh, noticed has to be the solution where you make Kiki is is push and then we just put Kiki here and then we remove Kiki is push and we can move the wall up here and now if I make Kiki is you I'm inside of the text and I can like split up this this rule that's next to the wall and that seems like it's gonna be pretty relevant for a lot of levels where you have rules like over here next to the wall or something if they're not in a corner it can now be possible to split them up if you can access them and you have push access to push maybe you can do something about that so this seems like a pretty uh pretty big discovery and then we can just do like uh i guess like wall is win there we go amazing past that we did check out a whole bunch of other levels, and then towards the end of it, right at the end, oh man, right at the end I checked out this one, and I did figure this one out, and man, it's so unsatisfying now because it was like a grand revelation, and I, I accidentally just tried to do the solution, like, without even realizing, and then it turned out to be a thing, so I guess we'll just check it out, because this, of course, is an even harder version of Dungeon, of Prison, but it actually kind of isn't much harder, because instead of having push, sure we can't push Kiki over here, but we do have an extra is, so now we can just turn Kiki into me as well, and I want to be on this side, and now, uh, at first I was trying to do something where I was like getting Kiki over here, and I wanted to stop being Kiki at the same time as Kiki was in, oh, was in that corner. I thought maybe that could work and then we could push up the text and stuff, but you don't even need to do that. You can just do, uh, if we just spread them out one more step and we do this, this is a pretty weird interaction because normally if I try and push against the text, you can't do that. If I push the text up, I can't continue going. But for some reason, when you're controlling two or more characters that are both not push, I guess. I assume if either either of them are push, it, this wouldn't work. But because I'm now controlling two, I actually can push the text onto the non-push character, which is very strange. Again, just a complete accident. I didn't even mean to do that, and it just 
it happened, so I was kind of surprised, and you will never see that. But that's cool. I love not recording videos. It's so fun. Why, why am I even bothering recording videos when I could just not record videos? Oh boy. Little salty. Just a tiny bit of salt. After having spent like 25 minutes. But yeah, anyway, now... The things I had like... Uh, come up with ideas for that all are busts. Spoiler alert, nothing of value is gained here. But again, maybe something of value is gained in the end. So here in Further Fields... I did have an idea, but I just can't seem to, like, realize it in any way. But if we start with this whole thing... ...and then we make Baba is push again... ...I could kinda do a similar thing to that, that one ghost level, where we, like, had the ghost push the... Uh, ...is ghost rule over to, like, the skull to transform all of them into ghosts. Maybe we do something like that here, where we line up all the Babas, and then have the Babas push something. And I was thinking, like, if I have the Babas push everything while doing, like, this or something? But I just don't know how... Wait, hold on. Oh god, this- I'm actually, like, refining this now. Maybe this is gonna work. Because I just need to set up the Baba is move rule. No, aren't they gonna kill me? We'll have to see. But if I just set up the Baba's move rule and then get into place... Like, right here... Oh no, right, that's the problem. Uh, I need... I need Kiki to be push as well. But then if I do that... Yeah, then by the end, they will actually push... Kiki's you back together. Wait, did I just, like, solve it? Even though I thought I hadn't solved it? No! Oh, no, right, they break that shit. Oh man. Wait, hold on. What, what exactly happens? What? Oh, right. I would need to do that. Right, it's because Kiki has, like... Yeah, damn. It's, like, one more. And we can't have Baba's move be there, like... I would need two right here, two things being right here. And I can't do it... We can't do it horizontally. Like, even if I could change this to be horizontal, which I can't, it still wouldn't do anything, but okay, alright, so I guess I didn't solve it. But yeah, I was just experimenting with that, I was trying to, like, set up uh, Baba's move, like, here or something, to have the rule pushing itself along with me. Whoa! What? How? What's happening? What? What just happened? I, I have no idea. Well, that's box's key. Nice. Well, there you go. We got one of those moments at least. That is basically exactly what happened in the dungeon. So, cool. I did not intend for that to happen. Good thing I am going through all these pointless uh, observations I had. Turns out they actually have some merit after all. Okay, more stuff. We had Ghost Guard, which this one is just actually pointless. I was just thinking if we could push this to be like Rock is Tele as well, but we can't, so observation done. That's, that's all I had. I just wanted to know, like, I guess we can maybe see this in a different level. If I manage to get, like, two things to be Tele, like, Leaf is Tele, Rock is Tele. A, can you teleport between them? If Leaf is Tele and Rock is Tele, can you teleport from a rock to a leaf? And is it like, you know, when you have three leaves, they teleport randomly between them? Is that the same if Rock would also be Leaf or uh, Tele? And B, if you only have one thing, like only rock... Oh, we can? No, we can't test that. Shit, yeah, I want to see that, like... Uh, yeah, I can't really test that. I wanted to see, like, if... If rock is tele, and is the only thing that's tele, what happens when you walk into one? But yeah, can't do that here, so never mind. 
Uh, leaf Chamber, also another pointless thing, but I just thought, what if... Uh, hold on, we need to, like, fix all these a little bit. This is fine. Pull this up here. Uh, I was just thinking, what if we, like, order one of the leaves to be facing up and the other facing right, when we make them move, they'll just both go along their own own path? We knew that. But then if I instead push them, so I, like, push a leaf here and then make them move, it does, like, both of them go to the right. I just thought maybe for some reason if you, like, pushed one thing that then pushed another, it wouldn't change their orientation, and it would actually keep going up, but I don't think that's... that's anything. I don't think you can do that. But yeah, I don't know what else to do here. We need something to be facing up here, so we can, like, pull the mushroom out, I guess? I don't know, like, what else you would do here? And I didn't figure anything out, so let's jump out of that. Uh, did I have anything else I noted down? Hold on, let me check. I had, like, a text notepad. Uh, oh yeah, right, yeah, it was also Tiny Isle was, like, the big one that I hadn't figured out, but I've ha had, like, a lot of ideas, and, yeah, spoiler alert, did not figure it out. Maybe we can have another miracle, but I kind of doubt it. I just thought of some interesting, interesting ideas. I'm, my mouse cursor's on the screen, it's probably been there the entire the entire video, it always is. I should just... Why Why do I even have the mouse cursor enabled? Wait, do I? Oh, now I have it. Wait, I don't know if you've seen it or not. Wait, I should probably just disable the mouse cursor. It's not like you ever need to see it anyway. So, there we go. Now I can just leave the mouse cursor in the middle of the game and you won't even know. So, great. Should have done that, like, 11 episodes ago, or whatever it is. So... I did just realize that if we can somehow destroy just one of these spaces, then I could, like, push a rule, like, Baba is you, and win down into it. The problem with that is, A, how do we, like, kill one of these things without dying? We can do that, but, like, that causes other issues. And B, how do we, like, move this whole stack to the right? And that... I did manage to find a way to do, but it, in the end, it, like, doesn't... it doesn't even matter, you know? Uh, but if we do... Flag is key or something. And then we do... Key and Baba is you. No, 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 right. Yeah, this is where I had a problem. I mean, I'll, I'll show you the problem, I guess. Because now, if we do Key and Bob is you, I wanted to, like, line these up uh, vertically. But we can't do that now because these are, like, walking in phase, basically. So that doesn't work. We need to do something before we turn flag into key or vice versa. So we need to do... He and Baba is you, and then just move, like, up a little bit, and then we can, like, just move that or something, that's fine. Maybe, like, one more. And then we can do that. So now we do... Key is flag. And now we do flag and Baba is you, and the problem now is we need to, like, push this all the way up to the very top. If we do this, now I can, like, line all these up by just walking up and down. Like, if I go one more step down, we stack them up and we don't want that. But now we can walk as, like, a triple stack, and in theory, if we push this all the way up, I can then do, like, push it to the right, now I'm only Baba, and then we, like, correct these again, line up again, push this to the right, correct these again, and so on, but that just doesn't, doesn't help in the end. In the end, that doesn't, 
do anything because we still need to have something be open. Which it can't be. And water is stopped, so we can't, like, place anything on there. So, yeah, this was just, like, a, an idea, but it didn't really pan out. That I would somehow... Yeah. Just doesn't doesn't really work out in any way. And then I also thought just about like how we could possibly transform into one of the same like three things, but that doesn't seem to to work. I can't tell any way you can do that. Also just like if we could get rid of this one tile, then we could push it into the right, but that also has issues like if we have the is here and we somehow get rid of the water, then I still wouldn't be able to push is win in there. Or like is you and win, because we would need to rotate Bob as you horizontally, and I don't know how we could do that. Hmm. Yeah. This is about as uh, as far as I got. Oh man, sorry to to whine, but God, it's so annoying to like lose out on the uh, on the recording. It happens like it, it's impossible for it not to happen. If you ask any anyone that's recorded more than like twenty videos, they probably fail to record at least one. It just it keeps happening. It's inevitable, but it's just annoying every time. But yeah, so I guess that's kind of everything. I think that's all I did. And I mean, I guess at this point we have a little extra time. Not much, actually. I, like, basically only shaved off, like, six minutes or something, or maybe a little more. Uh, just re repeating the same exact thing. So, don't have any ideas for these or any of the other levels we've done, but I guess we'll check out Evaporating River. This one I have not seen, so... Real episode starts now! And it looks the same as a lot of these other river episodes, or, uh, river, uh, stages, right? Like... Where are those? Warm River? Yeah, it's kind of like this one. Uh-huh. Might be relevant. Maybe we want to go back there and, like, compare solutions. I guess it's a little little different. Okay, so Bob is you. Uh, Cog is push and melt. Skull is defeat. Yeah, Skull is defeat. Water is sink, but we can turn off water is sink, but water will still be hot. Yeah. Hmm. We could do flag is water. Don't think that does anything. Yeah, we almost have enough. Like, we just need one more thing. If I could, like... Just push all of this... Just all the way up here. And then one more step. We could make flag as win, but I guess that's that's the problem. And I don't know how we could get the cog across in any way. That doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. But we could do like cog is something, but I don't have much to like do or like turn it into. We can do, like, water is wall, but wall is stop, yeah. So that wouldn't really do anything. We can do flag is sink, or flag is water. We could do cog is water, cog is sink. Water is Skull. 
don't think that is a good idea, right? Water's defeat. Water's skull. Yeah, that doesn't push, like, even though cog is push. Because now... Now that doesn't work. Yeah, I mean, it just seems like you're meant to line up three things here and have a fourth somehow, and the only fourth we could have is the cog. But the cog can't pass the water unless we turn the water into something, and the only thing we can turn the water into is wall or skull, which doesn't help. And, like, we can push something into flag is blank, but again, that... That doesn't do anything. Great, we now have a puddle. I think that might... Might be it. And I think I'm gonna have to do uh, two very short episodes now, because, yeah, I just, like, wasted half of my normal recording time, so... We'll just end it off here. We'll do another very short one. I That's all I have time for. So, hopefully I don't forget to record more episodes in the future. That would be lovely. And, yeah, I'm probably just gonna move on and check out new levels that we haven't taken a look at. So maybe those A and B levels and stuff in the leaf area. So we'll try our luck there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.